After three separate incidents of babies being left in dumpsters or hospital bathrooms, community leaders are wondering what more they can do to prevent this from happening. The man behind the state's safe haven law says more needs to be done to tell parents in crisis about the ways they can safely surrender their newborns. Here's reporter Alyssa Munoz before she went to breaking news. Just last week, police say a newborn baby was found dead in a hospital bathroom in Hobbs. In January of 2022, video showed a woman leave a baby in a dumpster also in Hobbs, but that child survived. However, another baby did not. When police say in January of this year, Alexi Treviso gave birth in a hospital bathroom in Artesia. Prosecutors say they found the newborn's body in the trash. It really hurts that it's this close to home. Senator David Gallegos represents Eddie and Lee counties where all three incidents happened. He helped sponsor the safe haven law here in New Mexico. The state set aside $10,000 for each county to install a baby box. They are placed in fire stations where mothers can anonymously surrender newborns with no questions and where help for the baby is standing by. So far, only Hobbs and Española have set one up. So it's getting to the point that after a while, when you do educate the public, we will need to be held accountable for what we do. But I would much rather help the mother to find solutions than have to watch her be prosecuted for the life of the child. The founder of Safe Haven Baby Boxes also spoke to us on the phone, and she says she wants to do more to help solve this problem in New Mexico. She's willing to come to New Mexico schools for free to educate students. I promise you it will be the uh, 45 minutes of these kids' lives that they'll never forget. And get me in as many schools as you can, and it's not going to cost them anything. Again, I'm going to do this because I don't want anyone else to end up in a situation like like these three girls have. Kelsey has used social media platforms like TikTok to educate people on how to use the baby boxes and keep them informed of new locations. That was reporter Alyssa Munoz for us. Kelsey says for anyone who has questions or wants to know about their options to contact the National Safety Crisis Line, that number 1-866-992-2291.